Okay, so for simultaneous equation, what you need to know is actually is the same as whatever simultaneous equation you learned in secondary school. Uh. It's exactly the same. Means you can use substitution uh, and uh, or elimination to just find your answers. Okay, so in this case here, when you look at this uh, W and Z where they are complex number, right? Simultaneously, you are asked to solve for W and Z. Uh, we you can make one the subject now. Of course, this case here you can see very clearly making z the subject is easiest, right? So from this case, from one, from one we know that uh we know that z is equals to twelve i minus two w. But the problem here is the problem here is this bugger here. Okay, the the question the the um. Question never did not specify that you can't use calculator. So please use GC to evaluate this. Okay, don't go and uh, multiply with uh, con uh, conjugate complex number and then try and uh, always do it. Uh, don't do that. Uh. So just, just go to your, you know, GC. Uh, remember, you can use GC. Uh. So this is uh, because it's faster and also less prone to careless uh. unless if you GC also type wrongly that one I cannot help you uh. so it's minus 6 minus 1 minus 6 <laughs> minus i okay so this one sub uh, 3 into Okay, so this is the W plus 2Z, 12I minus 2W equals to minus 6 minus I. So what do we do next? This is it. Now before... Okay, this is another important thing that I want you to understand. Huh? Please do not compare coefficients like that. Huh? So some students will say, uh, you can just compare the real and the real, the imaginary, imaginary. You can't do that. You can only compare uh, the coefficients uh, when the coefficients are all real numbers. So like, for example, if, if A plus B I is equal to 2 minus 5 I, because these are real, if A and B are real, then you can compare okay but if they are not real you cannot just compare okay you, you can only compare when uh, when when they are the most uh, fundamental form so here what do we do we we actually okay because now whenever you see there's a conjugate uh, w and w conjugate exist together they are of the same complex number but same same but different uh, uh what you need to do is just uh only when they exist together in the same equation you just let w equals to a plus bi Okay, where the uh, remember uh, if if a plus b a plus b has to be real, remember that. So if if the w is a plus b, then the conjugate meaning this will be a minus b i uh, You just flip the b to negative. Okay, so that's one. So this case here, you get a minus b i uh, minus four a plus b i equals to minus six minus twenty five i. Then you try and compare here. So this is uh, minus 3a minus 5bi. So hence, by comparing, the real and imaginary parts you have minus 3a equals to minus 6, so a is equals to 2. Minus 5b equals to minus 25, b equals to 5. So you compare by looking at this real is equals to this real. And then the imaginary uh, is equals to imaginary here. Okay, so this case here, what we'll get is actually, uh, wait, 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 so Hence, W is equals to A plus B I. Then for Z, of course, we need to find uh, our Z. Z is 12 I uh, 
minus 2, 2 plus 5i. So this will be uh, minus 4 plus 2i. <clears throat> okay. 